All right, welcome to another tutorial. It has been a hot minute since I've made any kind of tutorial whatsoever on this channel. I am going to be redoing my original tutorial at a later date. I'm just gonna make this one uh, real quick. I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up a TTS pet and to separate your audios all at the same time because I know some people have been running into issues where there's like duplicate audios or they're not sure how to separate audios to where they're, uh, Spotify doesn't show up in the VOD so they don't get muted audios and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So this is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial specifically. We're going to start off with what you're going to need. What are the programs that you need? What are any plugins that you're going to need to set up? Then we're going to go over applying those to OBS and getting it all prepped and ready to... Um, Put it together then we're going to go over how to separate audios properly so that there's no duplicate so that only the correct audios are on the vods yada 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 uh and then we're also going to go over the final touches of putting it all together and we're going to go step by step so that it's uh easy for anybody to follow basically all right to get us started down in the description below is going to be a few links for programs that I use uh, that will be necessary for this. First one being the, OB the OBS plugin Image Reaction. This is what's gonna make your T uh, TTS pet talk and be reactive to the audios. Uh, then you're going to need whatever TTS system you use. I personally use Tangia, but you can use Monster TTS, whatever program has an audio source. Basically, it can be a browser source or it could be a program, whichever one. All right, so once you have these two items pulled up, you're going to download the uh, image reaction. You can get it from the most latest. There is a tutorial on how to put it on. Uh, you'll simply take this here, copy it, and then go search it up in your files folder. All right, so in here, you're going to extract your folder, open it up, and inside OBS plugins, you're going to go to 64 bit. There will be a file right here. And you're going to take that file and you're going to drag it into your OBS folder into here. Uh, it'll be, uh, I believe, this one. And you'll put it in. And then go ahead and restart OBS. This will cause that to work. And then you're going to sign up for whatever audio program. I use Tangia personally. So to find the browser source for this, you're going to go over into settings, setup overlay, and you'll copy your link here. Starting off inside your settings here, under output, you're going to go up to output mode and you're going to put it in advanced. Go to streaming. You're going to want your audio track on one, Twitch VOD track checked and on to. This will make it so that whatever channels have two unchecked will keep it from uh, being heard in the VOD. So once you've done that, hit apply. And now it's time to separate audios and set up a TTS bot. But I'm going to show you guys how to separate your audios and apply it to a TTS pet. So we're going to start off by creating uh, the browser source that will allow the pet to talk. So we're going to go here, we're going to hit add, go to browser. Uh, you can type in TTS, whatever you want it to be. Um, I per Again, I personally use Tangia. Hide that off screen for a sec. Uh, and then this is going to be super important that you do is in this box, you don't need to do sizes. If you're using Tangia, sizes don't matter because I like to hide it behind my pet because the pop-ups are cool, but my pet's cuter. But you're going to make sure that you click this control audio via OBS. Hit OK. So now, whatever goes through the Tangia bot will be heard here. 
Next up, we're going to add our images that allow our pet to talk. So we're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to go to image reaction source, which is that new thing that we just uh, put together. And from here, I'm going to go find my two images. The top one is going to be your idle image. Your second image will be them talking. Okay. I usually like to click the animation resets and then you're going to choose your audio source, which is going to be that audio source that you made for the pet via the uh, browser source. From here, you want to adjust your decibels. You can send test alerts and adjust it as needed so it's sensitive. I usually like to have mine relatively around negative 29 decibels. Right about here. Hit OK. So this is set up, but you won't be able to hear it. If you have your audio separated, then it will be right here, right? I have desktop audio muted because this basically puts all of the audios together. And the only way that you'll be able to hear the TTS is if you have this muted and I'll show you how to like the same method that we use to apply the TTS audio through the browser source using controlled, you can use for your alerts and stuff as well. Mix it up bot alerts, all of it you can use. Uh, by simply just clicking the control audio via OBS, or if you need to capture a specific program such as Spotify and or, uh, and or YouTube or anything like that, you can easily go here, click application audio capture beta, name it whatever you want to, and simply select your item from here. Anyway, so I have this muted. I don't need this. So I usually hide it because it's not needed. Now, our TTS bot is set up, but we need to be able to hear it. How are we supposed to know what our pet's going to say if we can't hear it? We're going to click these three dots underneath our TTS audio. I'm going to go advanced audio properties. From here, we're going to go over and we're going to change this from monitor off to monitor and output. If this was Spotify or an audio that you do not want to show up in your Twitch VOD, you're going to want to uncheck the two, the whatever audio channel you have set specifically for Twitch VODs. So now we'll be able to hear it during the stream, but it will not show up in the VOD. And from here, he's set up. That's it. All done. All right, guys, that's it for the tutorial. If you guys have any other suggestions, uh, feel free to drop them into the comments below for future videos so that I can make stuff like that. Things that you guys want to know. Uh, you also can uh, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Blue Sky. I'm pretty much everywhere. Just look up Corky Craft. Um, and then I just have a question. What's your favorite terracotta from Minecraft? Bye, guys. <laughs>